my equation of amino acids post for today. I talk about glutamine and its connection with Huntington's disease, and it serves as a sort of yearly reminder to myself that at one point I wanted to be a neuroscientist, and before that I wanted to be a medical doctor. Bottom line, it's okay not to know what you want to do, and it's okay to keep an open mind. It's great to keep an open mind. So I think a lot of people, when they say, are thinking about maybe applying to grad school, they think that they need to know exactly what they want to study for the rest of their life. And that's just so not true, especially in the United States with like biomedical science programs, like PhD programs. They're like umbrella programs, which means that you apply to the program rather than having to identify the actual lab that you want to work with. Then once you get into the program, you get to do rotations where you try out a few different labs. And during the coursework, well, then you get exposed to a bunch of different areas that you might want to research and different labs doing different things. Um, and you can find what interests you. Because there's only so much that you can get introduced to, well, in grad school, but especially in undergraduate, and especially, especially before undergraduate. So keep your options open, keep your mind open, and don't feel like you need to know exactly what you want to do. Instead, be flexible, and maybe you're one of those people who is pre-med. Maybe you start doing research just to kind of bump up your CV. Maybe you decide you really, really like that research. It's okay to change and decide you want to go get your PhD. And it's also okay to decide that you don't want to get a PhD. Or maybe you might want to get a PhD, but maybe you should take like a gap year to try out some more research. Maybe work as a lab technician to see if you really like it. Maybe see if the research really is right for you. But never, never kind of close off your mind. Never say, I want to research exactly this. Because, well, first of all, the lab where... Like, you might not have the opportunity to find a lab that's going to research exactly that. And second of all, you don't know what you don't know that you like. So go apply to programs, try out different labs, and then choose the lab that works for you. When you're in that lab, though, you're still not going to get, like, free full reign to do whatever the heck you want. Instead, you're going to be doing research that aligns with the goals of that lab. And this is okay even if it's not like what you want to study for the rest of your life because you're going to be developing the skills to be a scientist. This is really what grad school is about. Not the specific thing that you're researching, but that you're learning how to be a scientist, how to do research. And then basically you can go and you can take those skills to use them to research the things that you really, really want to research. But when you're in grad school, you're basically researching what the lab wants to research. You might get some options to choose from, but bottom line is that you're using their funding, which is for doing specific things and so, and their specific interests, and so you need to match that, which is why it's really important that you find a good lab to be in, which is why there's typically like these rotations where you can try out different labs. But in order to have different labs to try out, you need to make sure that there's enough different labs that you would want to try out. So when you're looking into graduate programs, be sure to look at the different research going on in different labs. Even if you're not choosing like what lab you're going to go to because that's going to depend on their availability of funding and this sort of thing, they might not be taking in students, which is why it's especially important not to just apply to a program where there's just that one lab that you want to work in. So don't go to a program where there's one lab that you think you might want to work in because you might hate that lab even if they do let you go and rotate there. So keep an open mind both in terms of when you're, what type of programs you're applying to, PhD, med school, that sort of thing. It's okay to change. Keep an open mind when it, when it comes to the subject that you want to study. And keep an open mind when it comes to which lab you actually want to join. Find a lab that makes you happy. Not just the science is cool, but the people are awesome. It's really about learning to be a scientist, and so I can't stress enough how much having a supportive and helpful environment is.